Chongo, the legendary African king of Femi Lasso de Phil. Chongo, For well over 50 years, the medium of film has excited and titillated the imaginations of humanity. Film has magically taken us to the depths of the seas and even to faraway planets that exist beyond the stars. Indeed, more recently, the amazing medium of film has shown us our very insides as tiny cameras have explored our stomachs and even shown us the blood flowing through our veins. And someday, Perhaps soon, we suspect, or fear, film may even show us our souls. Indeed, film has been a powerful and constant teacher. Often taking us to other lands and other cultures, film has done much to influence our preferences, our tastes, our concepts of beauty, our ideals of the good life, our wisdom, our values. Recently in Africa, and specifically in Nigeria, young filmmakers apparently began to realize that despite the spread of ideas and knowledge through film, somehow much of African life and culture of authentic African concepts of beauty and wisdom had somehow never been seen on the screen. And so some of them committed themselves to doing something about it. This particular documentary film is about how one such filmmaker recently attempted to rectify the need for the world to see and understand the genuine underpinnings of African culture. He chose to make a film about one of Africa's best known figures, the Yoruba God King, Shango. Obafemi B. Lassade is God sent as a loaded giant in the art and creative spheres and also a pillar of strength to the underprivileged of our time. So, how did you start the making of this giant epic, the legendary African king, Shongo, on film? First of all, I must confess, I didn't intend to do an epic film. It wasn't, it was just involved into that because you couldn't treat that the story that we had and the script that we had without taking it to that level. The story of Shongo, the legendary African king, takes us into the early history of the Yoruba people. Chief Wale Ogunyemi, a writer and researcher with the African Studies Department of the University of Ibadan, Nigeria, was commissioned to write the screenplay of Shongo. I've been doing research into the history of uh, the mythical Shogo and the legendary Shogo at the same time. Because the historical Shogo uh, was the incarnate of the mythical Shogo. So I've been doing research into uh, the two aspect of Shango. Nevertheless, our research team swung into action, went on a number of trips to Oyo, Ilefe, Oshobo, Ede, Igbeti, Idonre, Isheri, and other relevant towns that made up the old Oyo empire. We couldn't have achieved the success without the caliber of actors and actresses that we have on it. And uh, I think that's the key. Um, fantastic actors and actresses. We have a wonderful crew. Um, and uh, when you have all that combination, you're going to get a very good movie. Shango. It's a great thing to see that Julians are turning up uh, for social lives like this, like going out despite all the odds, all the troubles in the country to ease off somehow. It's a great thing to see that the film industry is coming again, it's being revived and life is going on. You know. Yeah. 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 
Oh, thank you very much. And these were the cool Oh, let, let, I'll take let that. Him, let him say. Oh, yeah, my regret is that I believe it might be long to be able to achieve a thing like this again in Nigeria. Where are the producers that will be able to invest in this kind of a thing? Where are the producers that will be able to accommodate the kind of artists that Family Saudi are committed in this field? And some people were even skeptical about the whole thing, you know, why the thing was on. But today I'm happy, things are happening here, and everybody is seeing it. For the first time, an English team is pulling a crowd. Nobody needs to pull a crowd. They were, everybody was thinking that Shango will play second field here. But for God's sake, everybody that left his home to come and see a movie here came for Shango. So I think others can now share the remnants. And that's what it's been since we started showing. That's one thing that we people believe. We believe in honesty and sincerity. Money can do anything. If you use the right people, you will get results. That is what Eva Extra did. Because it's true that the money has been spent. And they spent it so wisely to the extent that anywhere you go to, I can go anywhere in the world and tell the white men or the black in diaspora that this is a film belong to the black. Um, well, this is a question and answer time. If anybody has any questions, I'll be very glad to answer your questions for you. Anybody? What, in, what inspired you to make the movie? I'm, I'm very fascinated by Yoruba mythology, Yoruba history, history in general, African history. And um, I wanted to do something, I wanted to bring out this story because many people have heard about Shango as a, a deity, but nobody knows what he, even in Nigeria, where, you know, even in, in Oyo and uh, the, the Western states, people don't know much about their history. African Americans know much more about African history than, 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 than Africans. Um, and I'm pretty sure I'm very correct because there's a thirst, they want to know. Over there, it's taken for granted. This was an opportunity I had to be able to bring out a story that, to, to let people know that we have our own history. We, we have our story, you know, as, as opposed to the story that Hollywood, um, you know, gives us, you know, for, for decades. I remember um, two years ago, going to um, a computer store in Manhattan and looking, browsing through the computer games and I saw a computer game called Shango and uh, he was a wrestler and, a, and like a ninja and I'm saying, well, goodness, if, if, if children are buying these games, they're going to grow up think, thinking that Shango is a wrestler and uh, a ninja, a, a Chinese. You know, we have to put the story straight. We have to, and this is just an opportunity that was presented to me and uh, I, you know, I felt it was very important to do that. You need here's to, um, a can. Here's a can. And here's okay. a book. My book. See my book. Oh, my book. see, see, I yeah. take the history of Dr. Clark. You got it down? Write it large so I can see it, man, son. So, but can I write this from you? You see, you can, no, listen, I, I don't have it. That's why nobody steals anything from me in Arabic or uh, 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 either in Brooklyn. Thank you for a job well done. We need something like this to continue because African history has to be told. So please, can we give a hand to him? Thank you. Lori Odo, I did both, I did both, I found out the 